Hey guys, how's it doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. And today I want to go over looking at helpless jobs. I know I've been working on my help this playlist. I'll come back to that next week. Today I want to go over real quick um, looking at jobs in the job market. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and look at jobs that I think you should be able to do if you're doing if you're applying for entry level jobs, applying for level one jobs, you just got your A plus, and you're like, what kind of job should I be applying for looking at? And I will explain to you what the job is. I will break it down for you in a way that makes sense. Uh, and then that's it. And towards the end of the video, you, hopefully you have some information that you could use to help you land that first job. Obviously, if you're new, make sure you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it. And today is uh, October 31st. Um, it is Happy Halloween. So Happy Halloween to you guys. I I wore like a, um, uh, like a coffin outfit is what I was wearing today or... Yesterday, rather, because I went to like a Halloween get together and they gave me like a, like a, a coffin to get into and I did, which is kind of cool. But um, other than that, yeah, I uh, I will be traveling this weekend, which is why I'm here a little bit earlier with this video. So, yeah, let's get started. Let me share my screen. So we're going to going to go over to screen three. So what I usually do is if you're brand new to IT. I put 40K, but usually what I do is I erase the 40K and I try to go slightly higher depending on the job market, depending on where you live. Like, if I had to go for New York, it would probably be 55K if it's a New York job. But if your job is pretty reasonable and 40K is okay for you, then I would just stick with 40K. And then leave the, leave the experience level to entry level, so that should be enough. And then that's it. So let's look at jobs real quick. So this is a job in New Jersey, paying 40 to 60K, which is not... Bad at all. It has 4.3 stars rating, which is pretty good, actually, when you think about it. Um, and it's asking for Office 365 application. So that would be Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, so troubleshooting those applications. I made video. I have a whole, I have like a one hour and, I think one hour, 30 minute video on this. Uh, Compliance Center, I haven't made anything on that. I should make a video on that. Security Center, I made a little bit of content on that. Email security configuration. And configuration basically is your knowledge. I have videos on that. I have videos on desktop troubleshooting, printer troubleshooting, hardware troubleshooting. So, if you're brand new to IT, I think you sh if you live in New Jersey and you live close to Lakewood, I would definitely apply to this job. And if it was me, I would negotiate 45 to 50k since the range is 40k. But if you have your A, plus, I would recommend applying for this job asking for about 50k. That's just me because you have your A plus and you if you have the experience to do this stuff, like you have like you have the hands on training, you should be able to negotiate for more money. All right, I'm gonna go to the next job. So let's look at another job. Chicago. So asking for A plus. It comes up for me green because I do I do have my A plus. It's expired, but it still counts. So I have it right there. Um it's asking for solving uncommon, uh, solving solve uncommon issues that have been escalated. Blah blah blah. Learn to integrate new security technologies. They probably use like a sim solution. I'm not sure they use CrowdStrike or Sentinel no One or Microsoft Sentinel. Uh, handle projects implemented from start to finish. Okay. Let's have A plus security plus require. It says and security plus. This is an MSP company. There's no work, ex there's no actual like technology or tech stack here. I'm not sure about this job, but that's some, that's just trying to be the best cybersecurity company and IT provider across Chicago. So I'm not sure about that. So, I mean, if you live in Chicago, I, if you have both A plus and security plus, then I would apply to this job. It's, it's good, it's good cybersecurity experience. Uh, zero micromanaging, it says here. So, I, I'm not sure about this job. Probably go online and do some more research. I'm not going to do that right now, but let's look at the next job. So, New York, 32 to 35. 32 for someone brand new to IT. This is a great job for someone that's brand new. This is level one. Perfect on site. So, it's remote and on site. That's not bad. So, they're asking for Google Workspace experience and Mac OS X uh, admin experience. We're using Jeff. So, Jeff is like a little, it's like it's, it's like its own version of MDM mobile device management for laptops and iPhones and iPads, kind of. You could get a Jamf training. There is Jamf training for free. Jamf free training. So you go to 
Jeff has free education. No, they have free. I'm not crazy. So they do have free education. Uh, device fundamentals, policy configuration, deployment. This is a course overview. It's absolutely free. Uh, let me see if it's free. It should be free. Let me see. Okay. It's the overview. And you could purchase a certification for it in English. Okay, so they have some content on it. I know I found another one, Learning Hub. I think it's Learning Hub. They have some training in here as well. Uh, I know I know that there's videos on it, but I probably would just, would maybe Pluralsight. Let's see if the Pluralsight has anything. Okay, so this is free tier, and it's like an hour and four minutes. Probably look at that one. So I'll go online and look up training for it. That's just me, and then go based on that. So it's asking for MFA, multi-factor authentication experience, a Google Workspace experience. So I know, well, I should probably make a video on Google Workspace or a course on it. Google, Google Workspace training. Let's see if they have anything. They have Google Workspace training on Udemy. This is free. This is it's not free. 85 bucks. All right. All right. So they have something on that. So I'll probably go over that. Let's get for Office 365, which I have videos on that. They have Zoom, Dropbox, Slack. So Zoom, you know, video app, which is what I'm using right now. And then Dropbox, obviously, is to share documentation with other people in your team. And then Slack is a chat application. And Microsoft 365, you already know what that is. So let's look at another job. Um, I don't like when there's a job that says help desk, technician one and two. And then it says not remote. Like, what the heck, man? Come on, man. That it needs to make more sense than that. All right. Let's look at help desk technician tier one. Serve as first point of contact for phone. Uh, this is A plus, number plus, prefer. Customer service experience. Yeah, so like the majority of entry-level jobs, just so you guys are aware, the majority, it's the same company. I think it's the same company. Yeah, leading IT. It's the same exact company as before. Uh, majority of these jobs is you have to be good with customer service. I'm letting you know right now, you cannot avoid customer service. I'm gonna look at that. I'm gonna look at a different job, but you can avoid having good customer service. You have to know how to talk to people. That's just the that's just part of the job. That comes with the job. If you're applying for help desk jobs, then you have to deal with people. Now, if you don't like dealing with people, then that's a different story. Then you shouldn't be applying for help desk jobs. Just my two cents. All right. Uh oh, Texas. All right, this looks good. This is a tier two job. So let's see what we have here with tier two jobs. Um, let's see, 65 to 80. So this one is someone that already has experience. So me, I would ask for 70K if it was me, because like there's a range. So I would ask for seven, close to 70K. This is hybrid business that could be based in Dallas, Texas, or Orlando. Florida. So this is a really good job for someone that has some experience, like at least one year of experience. Like it says one year right there. Like this is perfect. Cisco Meraki, Windows 11, Microsoft Azure. I have videos on Windows. I have a video on Windows 11, Microsoft Azure. I have videos on that. Cisco, I don't have videos on that, but you could probably YouTube that. Yeah, you could definitely do this. You just need a rally driver's license. So anyone that has a driver's license and has some help desk experience, I would apply to this job. And it's hybrid. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, let's look at other jobs. I'm going to look at one more job and call it a day after this. Let's go to the next page. But like I entry level job because these some of these jobs are not entry level. Uh let's see here. Mm. So that's in Tennessee. IT technician. All right. This is this is based in California. So California. 30 to 45 an hour part-time contract. It's like red because I don't. It's red because I, I put no for contract work. I want full-time job. Um, one year of experience in IT support help desk. Okay, you need some experience. 365, Windows, app environment. Understanding HIPAA, HIPAA privacy standards. Okay. 1099 contractor. Okay, let me go to a different job. I, I don't I don't want to end on a note with that job. So get a different job. Um, 
I teach the for 30, 30 to 340 dollars. Okay. So driver's license again. Customer service keeps coming up. See, like you need to know how to have that because you're gonna deal with people that don't know how to do their job. Experience of Dell, Microsoft, HP, Cisco, Citrix. Yep, I know Citrix. Dri valid driver's license. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah, so that made that makes sense. Um see what else they're asking for. Cybersecurity experience, prefer one year. Office 365, one year. Customer service, two years. All right. Uh, I'm going to skip that job and go to a different... I want to look for an entry level because doesn't, that doesn't seem like entry level. There we go. Tier 1 support. That's perfect. All right. So sub software troubleshooting. Uh, let's see here. Do they have a video here on how their company is like? Let's see. Video is not available anymore. Okay, that's 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 bad. <laughs> Video's not even available. All right, main responsibility: troubleshooting, onboarding new customers, troubleshooting resolving issues with commercial equipment and technology, product testing, quality control. Must be good at Spanish. Okay, that makes sense. Blah blah blah. I guess for this job, they want Spanish speaking representatives. There is no tech stack in this one, which is bizarre. All right, I'm gonna look for a different job because there's no tech stack. In that one. Um, let's see here. What about this one? IT support specialist in Florida. IT support role, office technical support, Windows, Mac, OS X, Linux. Yep, you didn't know Mac and OS. All right. You have remedy, you have service manager. So this is ticketing systems. Uh this is you look you can look this up. It'll tell you, it tells you what it is. So like Use for to manage IT services, incident problem change management. So anyone that's brand new should be probably be applying for this job. Uh, and they have Columbus, Ohio, which is an analyst too. Citrix and VDI virtual desktop environments is what this is. Where group policy is involved in it as well. I have videos on group policy, some knowledge with Chromebooks as well. Travel may be required. I just wish it paid a little bit more. I think 22 is too little, especially for the the way things are right now, if you pay a little more than that, that would be that would be nice. Um see there's any other ones. I'll go I'll go one more page and I'll be done with this. Uh let's see here. <laughs> Help desk hero. I'll look at this. This is the last job I want to look at. Help desk hero. Okay. MC, this is an old certification, doesn't even exist anymore. Uh I think this is retired. I could be wrong. Uh, level one, growing MSP company, St. Henry, Ohio, blah, blah, blah. Level one for tickets, incident tickets, monitoring tickets, blah, blah, blah. Solving, resolving issues. Experience with Windows 11, 365, and printers, okay. So if you're an entry-level person, you should, you could probably do this job. If you have A+, plus, you should be applying for this job. And it help you pick up some equipment. Yeah, you could definitely do this job. They have service level agreement. Obviously, a ticket comes in. You have agreement that the ticket must be taken out of off the queue after a certain amount of time. Or if you have a ticket already that is assigned to you and it's in your queue, it should be done by a certain amount of time. You cannot have it stuck in your queue for like five hours. It doesn't make any sense. That's part of the SLA agreement, right? Um, a plus prefer, like, or they, or you must obtain it in the first ninety days. So yeah, if you're brand new, I would be applying to this job. Uh, two years of experience, Microsoft certified professional. So I'm just gonna look that up. Yep, blah, 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 blah. yeah, they're still available. Okay, okay, all right, great, cool. Um, to auto task, auto task. Central 701, Ubiquity, Sonic. So, networking experiences require or some sort of networking experience. You should know what that is. If you have experience, I would apply to the show. This is not so bad. Like I said, I wish you would pay more. Like the job market is, should pay more money because of some, some of these jobs because cost of living is super high. But I'll stop sharing. Yeah, and that's it for me. Hopefully, this video helps you out. Like I, like I said, a lot of these jobs require customer service experience. You must be good with people. You cannot avoid people. That's just the norm of IT support jobs. 
Uh, obviously, you need to be good at Active Directory, Office 365, Intro ID, MDM, MFA, et cetera, et cetera, depending on the job you're applying for. And obviously, from what I said earlier, if you have your A+, plus, you should be able to ask for more money. And I'm just being realistic. If you're good at interviewing and you're good at negotiating salary, you should be able to ask a little bit more than what they're at, what, what they have in the salary range. Like if it's like 40K to 60K, you could probably get 50K or 55K or 50 something K, right? Or way more than 40K because like 40K is like the entry level salary, right? You can ask for more. So just try to be... Be weary about that. Be aware of that. Just try to be good at negotiating your salary because if you go this low, they got to give you that amount, if that makes sense. All right? With that being said, hopefully this video helps you out. I hope you have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.